Hey everybody, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2. Alright, so we, we made it past the uh, Fence of Judgment. <laughs> oh man, that was like a friggin' boss fight getting past that fence. You got <laughs> we need to find a computer. So that I can... So that I can... Um, Access. I'll go check the roof. Okay. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Okay, he's going that way. Ah, there's my computer. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. <laughs> yeah, so like in Metal Gear Solid 1, you can uh, use different tactic tactics to uh, confuse your enemy and stuff if you don't have a weapon. First, I want to check these lockers over here, though. I'm going to be sneaky sneaky about it. Close the door. Oh, fuck. No way. No. Damn. Get up. No, I'm fucked. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're so dead. Just let him kill us here. No, oh, they can they can shoot us a lot easier if I stand up. Okay. I wish there was just like a like I could just hit like retry or something. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to wait for them to shoot me like 800 times. Come on. Yeah, relax. Just wait until I get some guns in my hands, all right, sweetheart? Ah, that wouldn't be a good one. There's somebody there. No, nope. nobody. Strange, am I right? There's my map. <laughs> now where am I supposed to go? That's my question. Maybe follow that guy up to the roof, or... See where this takes me? Gentlemen, my uh, father. Raiden, watch out! There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during...
during a hanging maneuver, and once it runs out, you will fall. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. The package. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy... Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy. Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Hit to strut B now. Oh my god. Not the president. Wait, is it Joe Biden? <laughs> Alright, I'm going home. See you guys. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs> they probably wouldn't even have to secure him or anything. Just put him in the room and tell him that the door is locked. He's dumb enough to believe you. Oh, shit. There's somebody there. Nobody. It was a figment of your imagination. And this Friday. You better keep going that way. Yeah, you think you saw something over there, right? That seagull was talking shit about you over there, bro. Huh. Freaking riding, man. He's so cool, you know. I like how he's like a. Uh, okay. There's definitely. Uh, it's like somebody ate their lunch a little too fast or something in here. Yeah, I like how Raiden is like, you know, he's young, right? So he constantly calls the colonel. Whereas Snake talks to the colonel like maybe every half an hour or something like that. He, Snake gets annoyed that so many people call him while Raiden is the one being like, Colonel, help me! It's just a good example of how experienced Snake actually is compared to Raiden. Raiden's like the new young guy, right? Replace the old with the new. Oh, what you doing? Oh my god. He's got a darkness or a, a knife a knife in his chest. Nine point two. Not bad, my man. All alpha, come in. What's going on? Alpha, respond. Uh, can I have a gun, please? <laughs> you know. Well, 
Well, you know what they say, man. Don't skip breakfast. Oh, hell no. Listen, man, I do a really good cartwheel. Are you? Pretty nice knife. Five today. Cool. Or rather, six. Them. Now just hold on a second. Get down! You know those green eyes, man, that's Snakey Boy. And look at the way he walks. <coughs> Full on Where is he? CQC. Snakey. Watch out, Snake O. Listen, sir, don't ever do that again. <coughs> Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. Sneaky. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. <laughs> not Snake Pliskin? No? Iroquois Pliskin. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. <laughs> Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking Mission 60. Weapons 80. Advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? 
The Alpha Team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah, Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. <laughs> What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. So he lights a cigarette. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak. That was Vamp. He's Romanian. A wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. Hmm. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment, too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Let's go. So calm. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about dead cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange 
strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Sneaky boy. Dead man walking. Ourselves a SOCOM now. Uh, I wouldn't mind. <coughs> I wouldn't mind finding a suppressor or something. Oh, there's something up there. M9. Is there a computer in here? We have two, two open doors. Let's see if there's a door down here. <laughs> Snake sleeping. Up. Got radar, and we have two different ways to go. Oh, uh, do we have Snake's number programmed in? No. What was it? One. No, no, fuck off. Damn it. <laughs> Goddamn weird ass buttons. Uh, what was it? 14180. So now I think we have Snake's number on memory. Yeah, list. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's get our uh, first game save here as well. Rosie, what's up, Jack? We haven't saved our game yet, other than the original prompt save uh, when you finish Snake's little opening there. Yeah, it's a good idea to save. <laughs> Oh, it actually put the real date. Finally. <laughs> oh, that's not the real date. It is 2023, but it's a couple of months off. It's, uh, I believe it's like September the 15th or 16th right now as I record this. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. <laughs> uh, thanks, Bo. Alright, uh, check map. So there is two doors. We're trying to get... Here, to the BC connecting bridge so that we can get into strut C, apparently. That's what we're trying to do. So what's this room, then? Uh, a big gunfire happening? shooting at. Oh, it's the vampire dude. 
Oh, it's not the vampire dude, oh no. literally just go around her. Come, put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Oh no, Mr. President. It was a duck. Fire another. Today is another bad day. Oh shit. <laughs> it's a friggin' anyone here that can give me happiness. It's a friggin' gauze rifle. So sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. The hell, yeah. Ah, uh, Papa. <laughs> Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. Oh, shit. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s of the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation 2? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, 
this is real. Hey, and that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Right. You're needed on strut C. <laughs> you got it, father. <laughs> What the hell, man? Okay. Good. What is this? Oh, this is the room where Homeboy gave everybody a chomp. Snakey boy is still sleeping on the stairs. Let's see where this goes. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Lovely place. What was that? Hello? Beep? I wonder what that beep was. Can we get this open? Sure, what those things are. I don't think we can do anything to them. Hold on, where exactly are we? Yeah, we need to cross the BC connecting bridge to the Strut C dining hall. But well, we are at 32 minutes, so I will say thank you guys so much for coming up and watching this episode of <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2. Man, do me a favor, leave a like on the video. Maybe even subscribe to the channel. Not a freaking love you, but I wish you the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So be sure to have a good bye bye.